everything is empty in your stomach. Everything is empty in your intestines. So it makes sense that it would be the perfect time to take a probiotic when you're fasting, right? It's actually quite wrong. Listen, I'm gonna keep this short. Be respectful of your time and just kind of get right to the point. Probiotics during a fast don't necessarily break your fast, but it's kind of a waste. You see, here's what we have to remember. During a fast, things kind of slow down. Digestion slows down, enzymes slow down, but one thing is for certain. If you were to take a probiotic, it would sit in your gut for a longer period of time because digestion is slowing down. Energy is preserved, things aren't breaking down, enzymes aren't being formed, etc., etc. Well, that seems like a good time to take a probiotic, right? Because it would have a chance to actually plant. No, because it's going to be exposed to hydrochloric acid and it's gonna break down and it's going to potentially harm the bacteria. So taking in a probiotic doesn't really make a lot of sense during that time. The other factor that we have to look at is probiotics need something to help them grow. Probiotics are living organisms, right? So they need to have something come in that they can feed on. So in theory, you would have to actually eat something for those probiotics to kind of do their job to a degree because the goal is you take a probiotic, it sits in your gut for a little bit and it slowly kind of, you know, does its thing, releases the microbes, and then you bring some food in and you get a chance to actually break it down. There was an interesting study that demonstrated that if you took probiotics 30 minutes after a meal, a lot of the probiotic benefit was destroyed. Why? Because in the same vein, when you consume food and take a probiotic along with that food, well, what happens? It forces the probiotic to stick in the gut longer with the digesting food and it harms the bacteria. So it's a very delicate thing. So this interesting study that I've talked about before that was published in Gastroenterology, it demonstrated that right when you start a fast and for like the first part of a fast, gut motility slows down, okay? And I've talked about this in a video where I was mentioning the kinds of foods you start a fast with can really dictate a lot of things because they get a chance to stick in your gut longer. So what you eat before you start a fast is going to have the biggest impact because it stays in your gut longer because digestion slows down. This is good and bad. If you eat garbage, it's gonna stick in your gut longer. If you eat good things, it's gonna stick in your gut longer. So ideally what you'd wanna do is you'd wanna be taking a probiotic along with that meal. Okay, you wanna go with that meal so that the strains within the probiotic have the best potential to do their job during a fast, okay? But you don't wanna take it right with the meal. So in essence, you wanna take a probiotic 30 minutes before your last meal of the day before starting a fast. By the way, the recommended probiotic that I would talk about since I know you're gonna ask is one called Seed, and I put it down below in the description. I don't recommend a lot of probiotics. I usually recommend doing what you can with your diet and fiber, but Seed is a pretty revolutionary company and they're doing some pretty cool things. They have something called a Synbiotic, which combines a probiotic and a prebiotic and has a capsule inside of a capsule. So if you look at it, there's one part that has the bacteria that opens up a little quicker and another part that opens up a little bit later. So it's ideally going to be better staging. So very, very good probiotic if you're looking for one to take that works with an intermittent fasting lifestyle. They are a supporter of this channel and I thank them for that because they allow everyone on this channel that's watching this video to save 15%. So there's a link down below where you can save 15% by using code THOMAS15. So after this video, check them out down below in the description. You could also make a very solid argument that you could get more benefit out of your fast by planting it with high fiber and potentially a good probiotic first. And the reason that I say that is there is an interesting study that was published in the National Academy of Sciences of America that found that Bacteroidetes, which is a strain of bacteria that is largely associated with good metabolism and good just overall body composition, seems to independently elevate during a fasted period, especially if there is good diversity. So Bacteroidetes seems to respond well to a diverse microbiome. So if we have demonstrated through this one study that, okay, fasting seems to elevate Bacteroidetes, that's already good, plus we know that Bacteroidetes thrives with diverse foods, well, then that's an interesting thing, right? So if we started our fast by having a probiotic prior to our meal, and then we ate a good amount of fiber, then we allow the probiotic to sort of do its thing and allow it to potentially flourish and allow it to potentially 
will benefit bacteroidy yeast levels. Again, somewhat of a hypothesis by piecing different studies together, but that's what this channel is about. It's about forward thinking and looking at all the different research. So very intriguing stuff, because if you look at the research with bacteroidy teas, it's associated with better lipid metabolism and better glucose metabolism, which is super important during a fast because that means that your body is efficiently creating energy. It's not the end all be all, but it's definitely a connection that we need to look at. So what happens if you were to take a probiotic during your fast? Is it going to break your fast? Is it going to ruin things? It's not gonna ruin things. It comes down to being a little bit more of a waste of money because you're probably not getting the full effect and colonization that you would be really looking for. But what about after you break your fast? Is that a good time to take a probiotic? I would say you'd wanna take a probiotic after your first or second meal upon breaking a fast, I would not recommend taking it right with that meal. And the reason is, is because right when you break a fast, you're going to have a surge of hydrochloric acid that's going to kind of come as like an alarmed shock response to the body. It's gonna say, wait a minute, there's food, whoosh, let's run in. Probably a good time to not take a probiotic because you run the risk of it just getting lost in the shuffle. You wanna kind of plant some food in there. And depending on the length of fast, you have to remember that during a fast, your whole biome shifts a little bit, and it shifts because the bacteria has no choice but to run on basically glycans that are available from just your mucus and everything like that. It sounds nasty, but basically your gut mucosal layer. So the long and the short of it is you don't get much benefit there, but if you waited for like two meals after you break your fast, you have enough fiber, enough things in there to potentially support what you take from a probiotic. I'm just trying to save you money so you don't waste a probiotic. But anyway, that's to break it down, probiotic, high fiber, then start your fast, break your fast, eat a regular meal, then implement probiotics again. As always, keep it locked in here on my channel, and I will see you tomorrow.